Fellas, welcome back to React Mojo, the only series on the internet that tests Watch Mojo's claims. If you don't know what Watch Mojo is, they put out eight top 10 videos a day. Videos like the top 20 worst things Mr. Burns has done. I'd love to see that. What about the top 10 most evil people in Australian history? Don't watch that one. It's not funny. It's, it's kind of sad. There's a Canadian one too. They've done Canada, Australia, Britain. I don't know if they've done America yet. There's tons of videos for you to watch, but me, I'm interested in just one today. These are the top 10 video game series that went downhill. L. These games fell off and they're never coming back. I know it's Silent Hill. It has to be Silent Hill and I'm so sad about that. But fuck Mass Effect. I never thought this series was good. Number 10, Halo. Nah, that should be higher, dude. This was like a global phenomenon. Halo changed the world, man. Donkey Kong is gonna be on here. I think Donkey Kong is just dead. You know what's really sad, by the way? My daughter's really into the Mario movie right now. She loves Donkey Kong, and I don't know, I don't have the heart to tell her you will never see him in a video game. She loves Donkey Kong. She does like the beating the chest thing. She thinks it's so funny. And I'm just like, sweetie, he's dead. He's gone. Donkey Kong is never coming back. Was Halo 4 the most recent one? The open world one that like everybody loved or hated? Oh, that was Infinite. Yeah, 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 that was Infinite, right. Ridiculous. Number nine, Mass Effect series. I feel like this one did fall off. It's just like, it's over. Four is coming out. Yeah, but it's not by the same devs, right? Mass Effect 3's simplistic ending it literally is. a lot of okay, passionate well, players. Good luck. <laughs> Some even organized the retake Mass Effect campaign and drew the attention of government bodies over product misrepresentation. Wait, what? Are you talking about the ending? Some even organized the retake Mass Effect campaign <laughs> and drew the attention of government bodies over product misrepresentation. Oh, we got the authorities involved because the ending was so bad. That was the ending with the three colors, right? You could be red, blue, or green. I didn't realize that like the government was about to step in. They got laughed off. Yeah, I was gonna say, that didn't go anywhere, did it? That was like when everybody made a petition for literally everything. Number eight, Star Fox. Okay, I thought that was Peppy. I thought that was Peppy. I was like, huh? <laughs> Where did Peppy get a trumpet? In space. Would it even make a sound in space? Next entry, Star Fox 64 was even This game more had one good game. This series has had one good game. It didn't fall off. It of had one game. 2002's adventure <laughs> was seen by most as a I have never seen that crawling animation. Long ago. Uh, the climbing one. 2002's Look at this. adventure Pro is throwing himself into it. Look at the tail swishing like Assault and Command put Fox back in the cockpit. Yet still didn't leave much of a This mark. does look good. A Assault does look pretty good. By this is the Wii U one, right? Star Fox Zero, whose controls were too awkward to thoroughly enjoy. It's crazy to me that Nintendo put out Star Fox 64, which was like peak, the best game they've ever made in that series. And then they just were like, I don't know. What do we do now? Uh, let's try to make it again. Oh, that didn't work. Put that shit on the Wii U. Oh, no. They literally can't figure it out. They had it right on 64 a long time ago. Number seven, Guitar Hero <laughs> series. You know what's weird? There are people alive. There are people in this chat right now who didn't live through this. Where you just had like a box in the corner of your room with like drums and three guitars. And all that bullshit, all the peripherals, DJ turntables, the peak of Friday pizza nights. Oh, baby. You get that two liter of Pepsi with a stuffed crust. Oh, dude. Harmonics Make a brand new band and rock band. Be up till 3 a.m. When Activision acquired publisher Red Octane. Is that Kurt Cobain? No, right? You didn't put Kurt Cobain in the video. Yes? No, you're kidding. No, he's dead. It can't be. That's why I'm so surprised. He should be dead. Michael Jackson and Johnny Cash, too? Oh, dude. Yeah, but the, the Cobain one is different. Wait, you can make Cobain sing anything? You're kidding. Have Kurt Cobain sing My Way by Frank Sinatra. There we go. That's fucked up, dude. I can't believe you're allowed to do that. I made him sing Best Day Ever by SpongeBob as a kid. Why can you do that? Why can you have Kurt Cobain in the vi That's That's unbelievable. Number three, Tony Hawk series. Uh... There will always be a soft spot in our hearts <sighs> for the Tony Hawk's Pro Skater series. How do you explain this to a Zoomer? Like, how do you explain why this game is fun? This is probably one of the hardest games to explain to a Zoomer why it's so good. Yeah, this game looks like ass. I get it, yeah. Original Subway Surfer. 
maybe there's got to be a way to like explain why this felt so good and so unique. But you can't make one of these now. It just wouldn't really hit, you know? Did the remake do bad? No, apparently the remake did great, but they still crushed the 3 and 4 remake because it didn't do great enough. The peripheral bass ride and its sequel, while unique, were awkward and clunky to play. Activision attempted to bring back the Pro Skater brand with this a looks fifth cool. release in 2015. Apparently it's buggy but as hell, but as it looks it was pretty. a slapdash mess made only to retain the license, it was nice to get a remastered bundle of the first two games in 2020, but the series is definitely past its prime. I'll never forget the feeling of joining these lobbies. I felt like one of those really old pool sharks going into a pool hall full of like, you know, 20, 30 somethings, and I'm like 60, and I just fleece everybody, just like a shark. I've never felt more gapped. <laughs> yeah, like, I felt like I was the old pool shark walking into the hall. I fucked up everybody in these lobbies. Cause playing Tony Hawk is like a skill that you never forget. It's like, it, it's like riding a bike. And I would like gap the second person by like double. Playing online in this was fantastic. Number one is Silent Hill. I'm just gonna... Maybe maybe it's just me. Maybe it's too. I'm too sensitive. Maybe it's too close to the bone. It's Silent Hill, though. Number one, Silent Hill series. And you want to know why? Because we got PT. We got one of the coolest things ever made. One of the neatest pieces of media. One of the scariest things ever created. And they made that, and it was fantastic. And then they took it away, and it's nowhere. And you can't play it anywhere now. It's just gone. Like, like, some series are okay to die, right? Some some series, like, they run their course, they say their thing, and it's like, okay, that was fun for its time. Let's leave it in the past. It's, it's just kind of got old. Silent Hill could have gone so many different ways, and then they just didn't. 2012 saw the release <laughs> of Book of Oh, Memory, yeah! A forgettable dungeon crawler spinoff. 2012 saw the releases... Okay, I get this. I, I think I might get that. What the hell is happening in this room? What is this perspective? Why are we in the baby room? Why are we dungeon crawling in the nursery? What loot could they have? Coney, is the remake of 2 going to suck? Undoubtedly. I have zero faith in Bluebird Team, dude. It is going to be a fucking disaster. They did an interview recently where they said they weren't worried about making it, like, scary. So if you don't know Bluebird Team or what games they made, they made uh, Layers of Fear. And Layers of Fear is the game with that one trick where you're walking down a hallway and then there's a wall in front of you and you're like, oh, let me turn around. And you turn around and there's another wall in front of you. And oh my God, oh, it's so crazy. Oh my God, am I going insane? And then you turn around and then a baby runs into a dresser. And it does that trick like eight times in two hours and then the game is over. So anyway, Bloober Team made one good game called Observer, which is fantastic. And then they fucked up everything else. And they gave this interview where they said, we'd still like to make meaningful games. They haven't. We would still like to keep our DNA to tell stories about things which are important to us. They didn't. However, not by environmental storytelling, but by full action to have much more mass appeal. And I think this is the reason why we chose Silent Hill. So after like four different American studios took Silent Hill and tried to make it more action oriented with like Downpour and Homecoming, they kept trying to do action stuff and then Silent Hill is like, all right, well, this action shit isn't working. So what do we do now? And then they give it to Bloober Team. And Bloober Team is like, I know what to do. If I was Konami, I would be mad as hell. They're trying to catch up to Capcom and failing. That's it. Oh, that's interesting. You think they're trying to go like the action route, like a uh, Resident Evil 4? I mean, that's that ship is sailed. I've never played Silent Hill, but isn't that the exact opposite of what makes Silent Hill 2 good? Yeah, kind of. Like you can't, I don't know how you make Silent Hill 2 into an action game. One of the things that Silent Hill 2 does is, like, your character James is not good at fighting, and it's an intentional choice, or it's just cope, and people have said it's an intentional choice just for limitations at the time. Maybe they were just really bad at designing combat. But it creates this situation where you don't want to fight stuff, and now they're like, yeah, we want to have action to be mass appealing, which it's not going to be. This is going to be very bad. In 2014... A playable teaser for a new game from Hideo Kojima. If you guys haven't Guillermo played this, you should really build a time machine. You should invest all of your savings to figure it out. Bro, scared the collective pants this off shit was everyone. cool, man. But as we know, Kojima's falling out with Konami would ensure its tragic cancellation. So if you haven't played Silent Hill 2, you probably have seen this, and I'm sure you've heard this from like a million people. The reason this is fucked up is because this guy is not supposed to exist outside of Silent Hill 2. He is a manifestation of, of James's psyche, and now he has become 
the fucking trademark guy for the franchise, which isn't necessarily like a bad thing if they didn't overuse it like crazy. Not a bad video, but uh, I don't I don't know if I agree with it because I think Halo should have been higher. But you know what, Watch Mojo, sometimes you're gonna miss. When you pump out eight videos a day, sometimes it's a W and sometimes it's an L. But I need more bad games. How about games that were so bad they were recalled or delisted? Now, I don't know a lot of these stories. I actually don't know what these are. I'm curious. I know the E.T. one. Probably E.T. is on here. But have you ever seen a game so bad they had to take it back? I saw Mickey Mouse on this shit, and I was like, huh? Oh, like P.T. Yeah, like P.T. Get that guy. There. I can't even ban you. You're a mod. He has a sword. He can defend himself. We aren't including Atari's infamous E.T. Oh. game, as burying unsold copies in a landfill isn't exactly a recall. Oh, I thought that was going to be number one. We also okay. aren't including games like Cyberpunk 2077, which has made a strong comeback following being delisted from the PlayStation Store. Bro, honestly, I feel like Cyberpunk on base PS4 should be as valuable, if not more so, than P.T. now. Because that sounds extremely funny. Have you guys ever seen footage of Cyberpunk on base PS4? It is ridiculous. <laughs> Number 8. The Culling 2. <laughs> Man! Painful stream. This one makes me so sad. I was so culling built, man. I loved that game. The first one was good. It was so good. And then they turned it into PUBG. The early days of the Battle Royale trend saw many studios try to get culling was in like on one the, of the action first after BRs. an early access period. Wait, you liked the culling? Yes! The first culling was fantastic! For that time. For that time. For the time. Not now. <laughs> There's actually a marketing term for people who consistently enjoy products that fail. What is it? I feel like I'm getting set up for a punchline, but I'm actually curious because I'm that guy. Harbingers of failure. <laughs> Wait, is that real? MIT study finds the same consumers tend to purchase failed products. Dubbed harbingers of failure, these buyers may provide new windows. Oh my god. They keep on buying products that are taken off the shelves. This is a cross-category effect. If you're the kind of person who bought something that really didn't resonate with the market, like coffee, flavor, Coca-Cola, that also means you're more likely to buy a type of toothpaste or laundry detergent that fails to resonate with the market. Fuck. I'm a harbinger of failure. Rest in peace, Nasby 2. It's over. I am become death. I really am become death. I just like cool shit, man. I just like what I think is cool. And I thought Secret Ponchos was cool, and I thought Nickelodeon was cool, and I thought The Culling is cool. I thought Knockout City was cool. I liked Rumbleverse. I thought that was cool. Xenoblade fans better be happy that I don't like that shit. We want a new Smash game. We now know what must be done. Come on. No. Smash can't die. Come on! I've liked Smash since 1999. That shit's fine. Well, actually, no. This is gonna be a new franchise with a new director. I, I volunteer. Whatever. Or I'll just pretend to hate it. I'll look at the previews and I'll say it looks shitty. Hey, that's what I did with Project L. Project L's gonna be a big success because I saw that and I was like, damn, this looks kind of bad. <laughs> Players also felt it was unfinished and rushed in order to capitalize on the fad. It lasted a mere eight days before Xavier Jeez. delisted it, shut down servers, and refunded all purchases. It then went back to the first game, <laughs> making it free to play, but by then, it was too late. That shit and ser was dead, bro. servers for that game were shut down in 2020. <sighs> Got him. <laughs> Yeah, it, it's funny to look back on this because everybody's like, you see how big Fortnite is, right? It's this like phenomenal game that has taken over the world, you know, billions of players, whatever, so much money, a billion dollars made a day. And you're like, how did that game pop off like that? And then you see this and you're like, ah, <laughs> it, it, this is what the competition was. Oh, I get it now. Number I don't five. remember exactly. Oh, here we go. There's my goat. Let's go, Mickey. Clean that shit up. Get those brooms! Stomp on his head! There's something about, there's something about the animation of him missing the lily pad and, and getting great. back up. Oh, shit. <laughs> he went in for like four frames. And he's, uh, he had to climb out. Among the other people who hated it was Roy E. Disney, Walt's own nephew who had promised his uncle that no adaptations of the groundbreaking 1940 film would be made. Oh, shit. His ass was gonna get haunted. You better get rid of that, Roy. Walt's coming back from his cryo sleep. Why Mickey got on high heels? <laughs> Mickey got on the stilettos on this one. Damn, Mickey Slay. 
What is this pose, actually? I'm making jokes. I don't know what he's doing here. <laughs> Curse of Walt? Yeah, Walt would have loved Kingdom Hearts. If Walt Disney was around for... Dude, Kingdom Hearts 4, I need Walt Disney to show up. I want him to be, a, if not a party member, at least a summon. I want a big, like, Mr. Freeze tube to come up out of the ground, like... Stop hexing my game, bro. I will say, Kingdom Hearts 4 does look funny. I think I might be taking an interest in Kingdom Hearts 4. Can't wait to give it a shot. Turns Looks out, like it's the license was given to Sega by mistake. And so... Disney halted Mistake? all sales and recalled the somewhat 5,000 unsold copies to be destroyed. How do you get a license by mistake? By the way, if I was a kid and I saw this, I think I would have nightmares. Like, I would have rented this for Blockbuster, and this would have scarred me. And I would have told everybody, like, hey, what's that Mickey Mouse game with the horrifying visage of the devil himself? And the kids on the playground would be like, Zach, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Anyway, let's play Mortal Kombat. Isn't that just Kingdom Hearts? Kingdom Hearts wasn't around when I was a kid. I had this. Actually, this is like 1991. This is old even for me. Isn't it crazy that you fight Chernabog in Kingdom Hearts? Yeah, because he's like a demon, right? I think it's funnier that there are Kingdom Hearts fights that are literally just you flying up to their face and just like, Yeah! Yeah! Hiya! POV, you're Ursula from The Little Mermaid. Yeah! 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 Hiya! Hiya! I don't want to hit my lens. Number two. Fast and Furious Crossroads. What? Not so fast. <laughs> Come on, Vin. That's like the whole point. With as over the top as Come the on, movie Vin. series is, Let's a go fast. fast and Furious game so featuring furious. some of the original cast may have seemed like a great idea on paper. Holy shit! What fan wouldn't want to race through such bombastic set pieces. Oh my god, it's Burnout! I want to race through this. Failed to drum up much excitement. No, I want to play that. It was announced, which was a sign of things to come. No, dude, oh this came out. I want to play that. Vin Diesel shilled this game at the Game Awards. I forgot, dude. I forgot we did see this, didn't we? While reviews were poor, the game wasn't removed from digital stores until April of 2022. Bandai Namco that didn't reason, give a huh? reasoning behind the removal, but that doesn't usually happen to games people like. Fuck, man. So they just dropped it? They just killed it. I watched the Let's Play of this game, and it looked pretty decent. I mean, the gameplay doesn't look that bad. It looks like Burnout, but with mo more motion blur. Coney is doing that Harbinger fail again. Listen, I'm, I don't want to play it because it looks good. Well, it doesn't look that bad. <laughs> it looks like a shitty burnout game. But I want to play it because it looks bad and funny. But it does look pretty good. Number one. Every Limbo ten minutes. Limbo of the Lost. Oh, this is the one with the ending, right? Limbo of the Lost follows real-life sea this with captain ending, Benjamin yeah. Briggs as he navigates Limbo. Its visuals are extremely poor, as is its voice I acting, mean, and it's incredibly boring from both a gameplay and story perspective. But the ending is kind of fun, right? What led to its death a month after its US release was the fact that it copied assets and locations from other games, Ew. including The Elder Scrolls IV, Oblivion, and World of Warcraft. Developer Majestic Studios blamed external sources for the copyright infringement. Regardless, what does Limbo that mean? of the Lost was removed from all storefronts and is better oh, off staying forgotten. That guy's gonna... Ah! They're not even gonna it show it? I want to see that guy die. What a bummer ending to a list. But I know how to make you feel better. These are the top 10 most ridiculous design fails! <laughs> Look at Spider-Man! It's coming out of his... But who designed that? Hashtag design fail. Am I right, guys? Five bananas. <laughs> okay. Reddit user ultralaser23 took to the r slash mildly infuriating subreddit to share a hilarious design fail. The user explains that they grabbed a book called My First Numbers Book for their young daughter, uh -huh. hoping to teach her about counting. One of the pages in the book contains a drawing of bananas, mentioning that in the photo there are a total of five. Only yeah. a closer inspection proves that that is not the case. There are actually six bananas in the picture. What the fuck is this video? Wait, why is this on a Watch Mojo list? And why am I watching it? This is just Watch Mojo looking at a subreddit. This is the funny Reddit thread. Yeah, this is the most bottom of the barrel stuff I've ever seen from Watch Mojo, and I've seen a lot. Saging Towel Lady. 
We return to Reddit for another hilarious blunder. Great, this love one that. Involving yeah. what seems to be a human. This is the content cycle of life. Hunt. Either I look at Reddit or Watch Mojo looks at Reddit, and I look at Watch Mojo. It's not okay, even not Reddit like slop. It's Watch User Mojo Cream slop on Reddit. Seven shared a photo oh, to the r slash crappy design sub of what looks like an advertisement for a spa. That's kind of romantic, though. You know what I mean? They're getting fused into one, all wrapped up into each other. That's nice. That With should look AI generated. Caveat. The woman's back has morphed into a rolled up towel. There's no way this wasn't intentional. The transition is just way too smooth and seamless. It looks Honestly, good. we don't know if this is a design fail or a design win. This is how I win. <laughs> this is a silly one just for Watch Mojo. Whoever is the editor on this one is very silly. Jackson deserves They're going to die. crazy on they this one. They say never judge a book by its cover. Wait, what? Well, we're not going to judge the book itself, but we'll certainly judge the cover. Lisa Jackson <laughs> is a successful author who has written dozens of romance novels, including the To Die series. Uh -huh. The series' sixth entry, Deserves to Die, was published in 2014. Unfortunately, this title resulted in a pretty funny gaffe that would have bookstore browsers doing a double take. This is the worst video Watch Mojo has ever made. Art is dead. <laughs> I think Watch Mojo is getting a little complacent. I think that's what it is. They're not challenged anymore. We need a little inspiration. The farting peep. Even the big names aren't immune to graphic design fails. Peeps are a very popular marshmallow candy made by Just Born Inc., and they are often consumed around Easter. This particular box, picked up by Reddit. <laughs> I guess. I, th I, I think you needed another number on this list. If you texted me this meme, I'd be like, I guess it kind of looks like that. It just kind of looks like cotton candy. To it's help not... visualize this, the graphic designer put a pink cotton candy I guess, stick right yeah. beside the giant peep on the When you bed. see it. But this cotton candy stick was hilariously misplaced, making it look like a little fart cloud coming out of the peeps. I guess. Chat said peeps are so gross. Yeah, but have you ever had a stale one? You leave that shit out overnight? Oh. When it's a little crunchy, that shit is good. You guys haven't done that? I agree, Coney. Seriously, I'm not joking. Harbinger of failure. That's not weird. Guys, it's just sugar. It's not going to go... A peep isn't going to fester overnight. You know what I'm saying, right? Because you open up this package, you're not eating every peep, bro. There's like six. No psychopath is eating six peeps. You eat maybe one or two. But if you come back the next day and have another one, oh, dude. Midwestern American culture. I'm saying peeps are, are not bad when they're a little crunchy. The elevator switch. There are major workplace violations, and then there's this. Reddit user Kate White Shark shared a hilarious but worrying photo That's to not the hilarious. r OSHA sub. It depicts a regular, unassuming light switch with a bizarre note reading, quote, please do not turn off the light switch. It also operates the elevator. Do you think this is more or less dangerous? Probably more dangerous, right? Are people gonna hit that light switch? Is that like in an open area that people would actually do? I feel like people would be like, no, it doesn't, and then flip it. It's more likely this is a fake sign. Yeah, you could just put this above any light switch uh, that you've ever seen. Put this in your house. Can you just take it out entirely if you... We just have so many questions. No Why? way this works. Poke screams in the distance. This is my nightmare. I told you, my biggest fear is, is you know, fucking elevators, bro. Spider-Man tissues. <laughs> He's pooping. Oh, what kind of power is that? Did the spider give him that one? Is that his silk webbing? <laughs> What a design fail. Would a real spider do that? Like, if it was a real Spider-Man? Would that be, like, the right size? His ass would, like, make a make a nest, a little web. Spider-Man boxes that yeah. see the web slinger hanging upside down with his lower half aimed towards the box's opening. Yeah. This resulted in a rather hilarious blunder, as it looks like the tissues are coming out of his behind. It sure Funnily does. Enough, it sounds like she's watch mojoing for radio. Like, if you can't watch the video. Someone either didn't consider what this would look like, or they knew exactly what it would look like and planned accordingly. What's the number one ridiculous design fail? I, I couldn't possibly know. What could it be? Four Pinto. That's a different list. What you're thinking of are the top 20 worst cars of all time. You're on the wrong list, Chatter. Yep, congratulations. <laughs> well done, Chatter. Tale of the Pup. When it comes to design fails, it doesn't get much funnier than the iconic LA landmark Tale of the Pup. A brilliant example of novelty architecture, the stand is shaped like a hot dog, complete with two buns and a purple dog in the middle. It's very cute, but when viewed from the wrong angle, it could be misconstrued as something else. Could it? I don't see it. I mean, I get. I guess I get what they're going for, but it's also like not, you gotta really kind of stretch for that, yeah poop joke, I guess. I don't know if it's poop or 
intimacy. But either way, it's like, well, where's the rest of them, right? I guess it's poop. Speak on that, Coney. No, thank you. <laughs> Is it going in or out? Yeah, that's kind of my question. Yeah. You don't see this I mean, kind I of guess. thing in New Jersey. Uh, this uh, design, this architecture to tell you that what you were driving by or where you were about to stop, that's what they're doing. Did you... <laughs> I guess so. I, I I think I think that one's a stretch, Rebecca. I'm not a big fan of that one. We cut some ones. Did you see the bad ones? Comment below if you saw the bad ones. Like the video, by the way. You got all the way to the end, so you might as well like it, right? Hit like, and while you're down there, hit subscribe, okay? Goodbye. See you next time. So long. I should tell people to like earlier. Because I had to tell people to like earlier because then it, like, pushes the video. And they're, they'd left by now. Nobody's watching this. Nobody's listening to me talking.